Ghana is not immune from the threats of violent extremism as we have severally observed in our region. As the situation in the Sahel deteriorates, particularly in Burkina Faso. Next door, Ghana could potentially experience the effects of the ever-expanding quest of terrorists to extend beyond their current territorial expanse. Addressing this specific threat will entail constructive partnerships with other countries in the region, which explains why President Akufuado recently invited his colleagues from Burkina Faso, Togo, Benin, and Cote d'Ivoire to discuss and address this issue. A very welcome move, which was appreciated by the UN. Ghana must continue to strive to promote political tolerance. Political parties, the government, relevant state institutions, traditional and religious authorities, civil society organizations, all have a major role in this regard. This has added significance as we move into an electoral year, 2020, where despite the guarantees provided by independent institutions, the stakes are bound to be high. 2020 will be a year of elections in West Africa, as Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Guinea, Niger, and Togo also hold presidential elections. We can therefore, in anticipation uh, of a politically tense year, associated, of course, with electioneering campaigns, be inspired by our presence here today in unity, all of us, NDC, MPP, all together. And by the teachings of Dr. Sheikh Sharabutu, reiterate our collective commitment to a peaceful electoral process guided by the spirit of tolerance, respect for diversity, and mutual understanding so that Ghana emerges at the end of the day the winner.